he's best known for playing vengeful businessman Max Branning in EastEnders. But Jake Wood, 44, showed he had a wider skill set on Friday. Taking part in a charity football match at Southampton FC's St. Mary's Stadium that featured a star-studded lineup. The soap star looked cool and composed in a blue monochrome football strip during the celebrity soccer match before taking his shirt off to cool down in the sticky evening heat. The actor showed off his trim physique as he strode around the pitch at the 32,000 capacity stadium. He looked very much the part with a light layer of stubble and a determined expression. Punters paid £10 a ticket with profits going to the Saints Foundation. As they watched 90 minutes between two celebrity teams captained by Katie Price and Carrie Cardona, the glamour model side came out on top, winning 8-6. Other stars on the pitch included singer Sam Bailey, former England cricket captain Michael Vaughan and ex-footballers Wayne Bridge, James Beattie and Francis Benali. The match came shortly after Jake revealed that Max's revenge plot against those who accused him of the murder of Lucy Beale will go on for three years. After feeling like everyone has turned their back on him, Max is hell-bent on bringing down the residents of Albert Square. To do so, he is hoping to destroy his former friends by joining forces with a mysterious figure known only as the chairman, to redevelop his home and make it unaffordable for its current residents to continue living there. Soap watchers have so far seen the eventual character help the property developer to secure the freehold of the Queen Vic as he persuaded the Carters to sell. Comparing the storyline to Max's affair with Stacy, would RadioTimes.com all the best storylines that people enjoy are mapped out over a long period. With Max and Stacy, that was always a three-year storyline and Max's revenge is going to play out for at least that long, hopefully. The actor also suggested the Beals would be considered guilty by association for failing to stop the miscarriage of justice.